The film starts at a lake house where a girl named Teresa is sitting by the water when she is spooked by her friend Caleb's drone. Teresa goes to check on her other friend Caleb's girlfriend Jessica, who has not been feeling well since they got there. And Teresa checks on Jessica and sits by her side as she starts to read Wuthering Heights. Jessica begins to recite a passage from the page that Teresa is reading in an increasingly horrifying voice before falling over the bed. And Teresa checks on her and tries to help, but Jessica grabs Teresa's ponytail and scalps her. Teresa stumbles over to Caleb, who sees the possessed Jessica. She grabs the drone and cuts her own face with it before tackling Caleb into the water. She throws his severed head at Teresa before rising menacingly above the water. One day earlier, a woman named Beth is at a music venue with the band she works with, taking a pregnancy test in the bathroom. Elsewhere, Beth's sister Ellie is a tattoo artist living with her three kids aspiring DJ Danny, activist Bridget, and little Cassie, who has a fascination with the macabre. Bridget gets a knock at the door from a neighbor Jake and his little brother Scott, as Jake has a crush on Bridget, but she declines his invitation to watch the nightmare on Elm Street Films. Beth arrives at the apartment to talk to Ellie, but the sisters are estranged and have had a complicated relationship with their mother. While the kids like their auntie Beth, she hasn't spoken to Ellie in so long that she was unaware that her husband walked out on the family months ago. Ellie sends the kids to get pizza while she talks to Beth. When the kids return from getting pizza, an earthquake strikes the apartment building, opening a hole in the parking garage. Danny goes into the hole and finds a hidden room filled with vinyl discs and a mysterious book aka the Book of the Dead. He brings the book back to the apartment and shows Bridget, who doesn't like what he found. Danny cuts his hand, trying to open it. After Bridget leaves the room, Danny listens to one of the vinyls, and the voice of a priest speaks about the nature of the Necronomicon, reciting an unholy incantation as Danny sees terrifying images drawn in the book. Ellie is getting stuff while going back up the elevator, and she is suddenly attacked by an unseen entity that painfully binds her with the cables in the elevator. Ellie goes back to the apartment, now possessed by the demons known as Deadites. She begins throwing eggs onto a frying pan, some of which are filled with blood. Ellie starts speaking in a calm voice about cutting her kids open and climbing into them before she starts to crawl after them. She then vomits all over the floor before the real Ellie manages to speak and begs Beth to not let the demons take her children. Ellie then collapses, apparently dead. Beth gets help from Ellie's neighbors, Gabriel and Mister. Beth speaks some words of regret over her relationship with her sister until Ellie appears to spring back up, alive. She is burning up, so Beth and Danny try to put her in a bathtub filled with cold water. Ellie then tries to attack her kids, taking a tattoo pen to Bridget's face and cutting her cheek before Danny knocks Ellie off, with power gone out in the building, Gabriel and Mister. Fonda attempt to find a way out through a fire escape to get help. Beth and the kids lock dead-eyed Ellie out of the apartment. Fonda attempts to shoot Ellie with his rifle, but she disarms and disembowels him. She then tries to break back into the apartment. Bridget's wound begins to turn black, and she starts oozing ink from every orifice in her face. She also becomes a deadite after puking up insects. Meanwhile, the deadite and Ellie tries to trick Cassie into opening the door for her, making her believe it's really her mom talking. Beth and Danny manage to keep Ellie outside. Beth finds Bridget crouched on the kitchen counter, chewing on a wine glass. She then goes after Beth, cutting her leg with a cheese grater. Bridget then goes after her siblings until she charges toward Cassie, and she impales Bridget through the mouth. Danny then ties her up and puts her in bed to be safe. Danny comes clean to Beth about the Book of the Dead and also shows her the vinyls. As this happens, Ellie finds a way back into the apartment by climbing through the vents and implicitly killing a cat crawling in there while Bridget starts to get up. Ellie then goes after Beth while Bridget attacks Danny and stabs him. Beth and Cassie try climbing down the fire escape, but the neighbors that Ellie killed now become deadites as well. Beth and Cassie make it to the parking garage and almost escape, but Beth's car gets stuck in a pothole. They hide as the spider deadite comes their way. They nearly run out until the deadites grab Cassie. Beth grabs the chainsaw and slices into Ellie, Bridget and Danny. The next day, it's revealed that Jessica lived on the floor below Ellie and the kids. She is getting ready to join Caleb and Teresa until she comes across the gory scene from the night before. The unseen entity then goes after her and makes Jessica scream. 